and welcome to another reaction review video with me Nina Schofield. Fresh out the shower, still got wet hair but I am raring to go because Katy Perry has a new single out. I've got my rainbow peacock ring on, killing two birds with one stone there and I'm ready to listen to daisies. I wish I had some daisy earrings or a necklace or something but I'm sure there'll be merch. Uh, so Katy, 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 we are looking for a huge kind of I don't know I feel like we're looking for something that almost feels like the teenage dream era in a way and not in a holding on to the past kind of way in a new fresh way that only Katie knows how to do but I feel like that's what we're searching for is that big euphoric pop song so let's see what this is like gonna listen to the music, the lyrics, uh, I'll try and kind of analyse the whole thing and just kind of get a broad covering of what's going on and uh, hope that it's, hope it's a good one. Here we go. Oh, instantly, I love the delay that they've got on that vocal laugh and, and just letting it kind of swirl around us. Everything's kind of muted, even the bass. Interesting that we're coming into our chorus. I, f I feel like this is going to be one of those things where maybe the chorus is the octave up. So this melody we're getting now is going to smash home an octave up. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. But everything's been kind of muted. We're coming out into the open. It feels like it's going to be a big euphoric pop song. That's an interesting lyric. Ah. What did I say? Yes, yes, yes. I could feel it. It's one of those songs that makes you feel a momentum almost instantly. I think the acoustic guitar helps to do that. Uh, gives you this feeling of like, ooh, it's sort of a grit, but it also makes you feel like, yes, I can do anything. Um, something that Katie's really good at. And that melody, I could just hear it. I could hear it up there in the octave above. I'm just gonna rewind slightly so we can hear it go into that. Love that build up as well. Here we go. And having that. That's cool. Oh, I'm going all the way up there. That is something a little new from Katie. We don't often get those super high vocals within any song, actually, um, in the chorus, uh, maybe as a sort of end of song, big note, but not in the chorus. I'll be really interested to see when she does this live, if she sticks to the lower octave or the higher octave. Uh, cool. We and can you hear the drums? It's still muted, but it's kind of did it 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 did That's a nice lyric. I think what I'm gonna do is at the end of this, I'm gonna go and have a look at the lyrics specifically and we can kind of talk through what's going on. Oh, she's taking it off. And there's a kind of push. So if you bum 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 that's the way the rhythm of the chord movements is. It's a push, do, 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 whereas her vocal on top is slightly behind that. So again, that's where you, it cleverly tricks your mind into feeling like you have this sense of momentum that you're pushing forward. And we've got a few ad-lib vocals. Tell me that I'm crazy. Love that. This is like the ultimate baby photo uh, shoot, but in video form. Oh, I guess me. Ah, oh. 
It's got this kind of acoustic pop thing. Oh, and there we got the the uh, and then the ah. Uh, we're kind of building up, very spaced out, lots of reverb, feeling far away. Together gives you that warm hug sensation. Um, this song feels like one of those ones that you listen to once and you feel like you've known it forever. Oh, that's cool. Ah. Now we got loads of layers of vocals. Oh, and can you hear that there was a like a siren building up into that second final chorus, uh, which is an interesting technique to keep us refreshed without even really thinking about it. It's like you want a little bit extra movement as you move towards the end of a song. So if you're repeating choruses back to back, I think as a production technique, it's cool to have something else be added in um, very subtly so that as a listener you're not distracted but you feel as if you're moving forward within the song still even though it's just a repetition of the same melody or same structure Oh, and you can hear there at the end, she had the daisies and that with the reverb and then the top note with the reverb. Very cool. I definitely have to listen through to this song just as a whole without stopping. Obviously that was for us for this video, uh, but I can get this sense that it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good era guys. I get the feeling, all the feelings. Uh, and I read somewhere, I can't remember if it was Ryan Tedder said that Katie's a world-class vocalist on this era and that fills me with excitement but also having just listened to that you can kind of tell if she's going for those top notes even in the choruses what else is coming what else is coming okay so let's have a look at these lyrics and just kind of talk about some of the key moments there are some things that really stood out to me but I just want to talk to you guys about them as well See, it's catchy. Yeah, I like that line, one in seven billion, why can't it be me? Because she's talked about how people laugh at your dreams in the beginning of this song and, uh, you know, how she's come such a long way. And I guess she's saying to us, don't think that just because you come from a certain place that you're not going to achieve what you want to. And then I feel like she would have sat down in the writing session and said, how can we, say turn lemons into lemonade in a different way and that's where I see this lyric uh took those sticks and stones showed them I could build a house and that's interesting as well because that's looking at not only her career but her family life too I feel and yeah and then why did we put all our hopes in a box in the attic why is it that as we as we grow as people as we get a bit older we decide that our dreams are no longer achievable and we just put them away and just survive our lives rather than living them uh yeah really interesting lyric that one and they said i'm going nowhere tried to count me out well you went somewhere katie you definitely did yeah super super interesting lyrics very pop very euphoric exactly the kind of thing i was looking for not my favorite of all of katie's lead singles i think my favorite's always going to be raw although i've heard that song so many times now <laughs> maybe daisy's will overtake it uh but i'm really really interested and excited to see what is coming next oh what is it gonna be i hope she doesn't wait too long to release the next single i know the albums is the album coming in august did i read that august yeah which isn't too long to wait we can do this guys we just need maybe another one or two songs another one or two singles uh in the interim okay yay what did you think of that song let me know in the comments box down below what's your favorite lyric what is it about this song that you think stands out 
apart from her other songs let me know and as always if you enjoyed this video please do hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications become part of our family here and you can of course find me on twitter and on instagram at nina underscore schofield and you can find links to my new single ghost and to my wizio page where i can help you with your singing and there's a little discount on at the moment in the description box down below and i will see you guys very soon please take care stay safe love you bye